Hi guys, Thierry, also known as Video Demon, and today, well, it's that time of year again. The 2020 year end video. Yes, I haven't forgot about you guys. I'm still making this an annual thing. I was considering not doing one this year for reasons which we're going to get into. But I thought, you know what, I'll do a quicker one to be honest. Like, it doesn't have to be like 20, 30 minutes long. I can just do a quick one. And uh, to, to, sum, sum, to sum a few things up, ooh, the stutter. Uh, where am I? I'm uh, at my uni accommodation like you saw in the last video. And the other thing as well, why am I wearing a dressing gown or a bathrobe? Uh, yeah, I've only just moved in about two days ago. And uh, there's issues with the heating and the radiators, so got to keep myself uh, warm somehow. <laughs> so yeah, you get me in a dressing gown, but I still have a nice shirt underneath. And you're probably thinking there's a lot of headroom here. Well, <laughs> it's the best I could do with the angles. So yeah, just enjoy it. But yeah, the year-end video, 2020. We thought this was going to be the year. Like the start of a new decade, the 20s, we thought it was going to be amazing and I'm not even going to sugarcoat it, it was a disaster. And like I, all, like I usually do in these videos, I go into events of the year, things that I've released, uh, things that have happened in my personal life, not too personal, but with this one, 2020 sucked and that's... That's not even like, you know, fully putting it there. You know, that's, oh my God, 2020. We're living in a cursed timeline. That's all I'm going to say. And the obvious thing that we need to like point attention to, uh, coronavirus, COVID-19, Kung flu, not racist, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Yeah, let's talk about it. We started off January. Things seemed pretty smooth. Well, not for me. But by the time February and March happened, yep, worldwide virus. This wasn't even like the swine flu of 2009 where it only like, it didn't even kill anybody. It wasn't even like the SARS of 2003. It was all over the world. And it's going on right now. We've had multiple lockdowns. Multiple tears in the UK, not not crying tears, but we'll get to that. And, you know, we're still looking for a cure. And all I can say is um, stay safe, everybody. Obviously, wear your face masks, wash your hands, social distance, all of that stuff. It's annoying, but if we're ever going to progress, if we're ever going to get out of this crap, we got to do it. And yeah, this is one of those years where I think everybody's just been screwed over this time. And boy, we thought the previous years were bad. Oh my god. But yeah, we're living in uncertain times now. We're all really scared. But at the same time, you know, I had quite an evolution this year. But we'll get into that after. So yeah, COVID is still going on. 2021, it's probably going to go on for a bit longer. We have a whole more 12 months to go. Who the hell knows what's going to happen at this point? But we can, we can only hope whatever's going to happen. But yeah, even other than COVID, we had the race riots in the summer because of the death of George Floyd, who got like suffocated to death by a cop. And yeah, all kinds of Black Lives Matters versus like the people who were against that, and just rioting and just carnage. Just absolute crazy shit happened in the summer. Uh, the year started off with, like, conspiracy theorists going on about World War Three, which I thought that was all a load of baloney bullshit anyway, but, you know, that was still a thing that happened. The forest fires in Australia. Uh, the deaths of, like, many, like, famous people. Like, I know that's going to happen every year, but, like, this year, they just seem to be, like, going. Like, Sean Connery was the one that did make me like cry a little bit because I loved his movies. I loved him as James Bond in The Rock, The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Uh, what's the other one called? Uh, uh, the 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 one who uh, Highlander. That's it. And Wilfred Brimley died as well. You know, like uh, diabetes. 
he passed away and I don't think he got diabetes. I think he got something else. He didn't get COVID. Uh, Kobe Bryant died. Uh, I'm trying to remember some others as well. Uh, the lady who was on EastEnders died, uh, Barbara Windsor, sadly. So yeah, a lot of famous people died, and sadly, a loved one in my family died this month, which, that was devastating for me, but, you know. I'm just getting emotional here, guys. I'll probably move on from that, but yeah. But I'm not the only one. A lot of people's loved ones have sadly passed away. For reasons, like the obvious one is that terrible virus. But, yeah, moving on. Just been so much crazy stuff, and because of the virus, our lives have basically been changed forever, and I think even if we do find a cure, we're definitely going to be living differently. Like, you know, we're we're a lot more antisocial. We can't meet our loved ones. We can't go to places we want to, constantly being locked down, and it's just... Very, very sad. But remember, we're all in this together, no matter what. And remember to keep your loved ones, still keep contacting them. So, yeah, this year has just been mad. I'm still going to keep going. I'm going to talk about culture and things like that. Uh, movies, because um, of what happened, people haven't been going to the cinema. They've been banned, a lot of them, and people just don't want to go. There hasn't been many movies this year. The only ones I can think of are uh, Bo Rat 2, which I actually saw with my university friends. That was actually a really good movie, really funny. Bo Rat 2. Uh, Tenet, which is like an Inception-style movie. Uh, that's about it. I can't think of any others. Uh, Pixar Soul released a few days ago. And no, I haven't seen it, but I've heard good things about it. It's good to see Pixar actually making originals rather than sequels. Um, Scoob, which was that really crappy CGI version of Scooby-Doo. Disney did a remake of Mulan, which was just like absolutely poorly received. So yeah, movies, there's been barely any films this year. Uh, video games, obviously Cyberpunk 2077. Another bloody hype AAA game that ended up being shite. At this point, is anyone surprised at big game companies anymore? I mean, I didn't give a crap about the game in the first place, so when I saw it fail, I was like, well, told you so. Uh, obviously, Among Us was actually a game released in 2018, but nobody cared about it until this year for some reason. So that became really big in memes, even though it's not my kind of game. It's kind of repetitive and just kind of feels like a fad, but oh well. Doom Eternal came out, and... Uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake, and no, I didn't play any of them because I don't, I'm don't. i not really a gamer anymore, I just, I'm just a researcher. Uh, albums that released this year, uh, probably my favourite, the most notable was Ohms by Deftones, OHMS, with, it's actually got kind of a critical divide. Some people literally say it's like the next White Pony or Diamond Eyes, it's one of their best albums of all time, while other fans say that it's boring and doesn't have any of the heaviness. I'm certainly in the middle. I don't think it's one of Deftones' best albums, but I did really enjoy it, and it was one of the most notable of this year. And there were some good underground albums too, like Loathe, I Let It In and It Took Everything. Uh, new Metal, Metalcore, shoegazy kind of band, similar to Deftones, but British. Um, Flip Phone Fantasy by o Ocean Grove was a good one. Um, Amends by Grey Days was... Um, uh, re-recordings of Chester Bennington from Linkin Park's old grunge band in the 90s. So they just took his uh, voice recordings and they played new instruments to it in the Amends album. Overall, it was pretty good. And there was also The Kingdom by Bush, you know, the band who did like Glycerin and Swallow and songs like that in the 90s. Uh, so The Kingdom was a pretty decent album as a music lover. But yeah, that's another thing as well. Because of the rules in the world, we can't go to live concerts anymore. And uh, people can't record music together in person. So my band broke up, sadly. And it wasn't just because of the COVID. It was differences within us. But yeah, all we can do is just hope for the future that we can do the things we like again. And hopefully I can do new music. I was really hyped this year. I thought I was going to like um, form a new band, but it didn't happen, sadly. It didn't happen. I can just hope, though. And as far as other stuff, though, I can admit, as, as absolute crap as this year has been for all of us, personally, 
I actually don't think this has been one of the worst years of my life. I personally thought two or three years ago, even a bit longer before that, were definitely worst times for me. And I can say this because this year, I think because um, we've mostly been like inside and things like that, I'm quite introverted person, so kind of staying inside and stuff like that, you know, not having to bother with the hassle of like the public and people actually has made me a little bit better to be honest with you. I've had times where I've been upset, obviously stuff on social media, people generally being dicks, but I've been feeling better other than stuff in the world. I definitely have a lot more self-love within myself. It, I'm not perfect, I'm not perfect mind you, but I've been getting a lot better. I'm just, even my appearance, I'm a lot more like happier about the way I look and I don't try not to care so much about what other people think. It's difficult to do in the culture we live in, but there you go. I've definitely been feeling a lot better and I've honestly felt like I've like made an evolution this year, guys. And I guess my resolution is to just keep improving, you know, kind of go through every day and just accept things and just be calm and chill about stuff. It, that's really the way to go by your life and everything. I know it's easier than said than done, but yeah. It's been a little bit better for me for that reason. And I've also got really long hair, not just because we haven't been able to go to the hairdressers, but because I've just generally liked found my style now, I think. I'm proper happy with this look, especially because I was teased back in school for it and I'm just fine with it now. But yeah. Uh, I I personally think, like, in a personal way, other than things in the family, it hasn't been that bad of a year compared to past ones for me. I mean, I miss my friends. I really miss the hell out of some of them. And I've definitely lost friends. I've had differences and fallen out with people. I went through a breakup as well, which I'm not going to go through what happened there. But, you know, things happened. And uh, But, you know what? I ended up meeting new people. You know, I'm in this new accommodation and I'm doing a lot better for myself if you wanted to know how I'm doing. <clears throat> so, yeah, uh, I've definitely, you know, I've made new friends. I, I haven't been able to meet many people, obviously. Unfortunately, we keep, we keep being locked down, but the people that I live with are really nice and kind. I love those guys. But, yeah, I miss my old friends, but hopefully we can meet someday and, you know, maybe get a drink or something. <laughs> but, yeah. And uh, another big move was uh, I was preparing for the summer and after after the summer I actually moved to uh, university, which this was literally going to be my year for university and oh my god it's just been it's been so difficult for just all of us. We have to do like online it's mostly online lessons on the computer. I in my class I I do uh, film production so it is very practical, but. Um, it's mostly online, which is a bit of a shame, but I've been getting my assignments done and all I'm hoping is that I can finally make my dreams come true of actually like being a filmmaker and uh, being in the industry. And, I, and we actually did make a film. It was just under the measures, like we had to do it at university. We weren't allowed to go elsewhere and make a film like normal. So that was a very different year for us compared to past students. But we still did it anyway and I'm still going through uni. This is only the beginning. Bring on semester two. That's all I'm going to say. So, yeah, overall, um, I'm going to close this video off soon because I don't think it needs to go on as long. 2020 has just been insane. And 2021, we don't know what's going to happen at this point. We are really, we're really unsure. But all we can do is just follow the rules best we can, but still keep in contact with you know, the people close to us, and hopefully things will just get better in the future, so that's pretty much it, guys, and I, I also was gonna, like, kind of end my channel as well at this point, but I am still gonna do videos every once in a while, just not as much, I like doing the album reviews, but obviously with uni and assignments, that kind of gets in the way instead, but I feel like you all deserve a year-end video, so overall, to end things, stay safe, follow the rules, don't give up give up on your dreams. Make sure you contact your friends and family best you can so you don't feel alone and overthink and just feel terrible. And uh, yeah, that's all I can say really. 2020, let's just get rid of this crappy year. 2021, we've got 12 more months to go. Let's see what happens from a year from now. 
So if I forgot anything, I'll just put it in the comment section below. I did not script this video at all. I just did it improv. So yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you all had a good Christmas or whatever holiday you celebrate. Christmas was really good for me. And uh, that's pretty much it. Merry Christmas. And a happy new and a happy new year. Bye. Peace out. Sorry. <laughs>